In this week's video I've been asked how I can use a picture for the background of my design and then draw around it in SolidWorks. The way we might do that is by using a sketch picture. I'm going to create a new model first of all, a new part that I can actually insert this into. You do sometimes find that some uh, geometry in SolidWorks is quite organic. Sketch pictures can be a good way to actually base your design on something uh, and get it the right shape as you're starting out in the concept stage of design. So one of the things you can do is insert a sketch picture when you're building a sketch and I normally recommend inserting these into separate sketches than you would to create your geometry. So I'd, I'd build a separate sketch just for this sketch picture. I go in then uh, into the tools menu. Uh, under tools you'll find the sketch tools option and then you can go to sketch picture to actually insert it. Uh, then you can browse into your machine to actually find the item you're looking for. So I'll just browse in here to find my sketch picture. Okay, I've got it in a video in a folder just here. And here's my sketch picture that's uh, been created before and actually scanned into the software. I can then open that up. That's just a PNG file, you'll see. And that then gets inserted. Okay, so we then get some options about scaling. Um, and we can use this little icon just here to actually move this line around to define the length of the item. So we can put a, a line which goes across the model. First of all, dragging that left-hand edge. And then dragging this right-hand edge. If you know what length it's going to be right across your design, you can then say, okay, I want it to be 500 mil long. And then reduces the size of the item down to that size. You can then move the item into place, putting your origin at a selected point to get it about in position. And if we want to, we can also use the options on the left here for transparency as well. So if we've got transparency set in the file, uh, when we created it, we can put from file. Or alternatively, you can actually use this user-defined option as well, which allows you to use this little dropper tool to select an area of the picture to make transparent. I just increase that slider there, and the areas in white then go transparent. It's match toler matching tolerance is just the range of colours that are picked up. So it should pick up a wider range of white colours. If you want to make other adjustments to the actual size and positioning of the sketch picture, you can do it here. Otherwise, we just hit the tick. We can re-enter the sketch picture at any time by double-clicking on it. And that takes us back into the tool. Otherwise, we can actually exit this sketch. Uh, and I normally rename that to... Uh, right view or something like that just so that we got in the background of our model um, something to draw around. Uh, having inserted the item you can then hide and show it on its own without it hiding and showing items in your sketch. So if you actually draw sketch geometry in there um, it will hide and show those as well. So that's why I normally put it in a sketch on its own. But that's how you insert sketch pictures into SolidWorks we can then start modelling and drawing around those to use those as our, the basis of our design. And it's particularly useful at the concept stage, as I said. Thanks very much for watching.